Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to episode 902. <laughs> Just rolls off the tongue. Um, the episode today is going to be a, perhaps a poignant one, but it's around this time of year that stuff sort of this sort of thing can happen. So the topic today is basically uh, breaking up around the holidays, how to deal with it. Um, so we'll make a little deep on this one and a bit more tender too because I just I was testing a friend of mine earlier who just went through one so that's what's on my mind before I get to that let me introduce myself and explain why do these talks my name is Barry Selby welcome to my broadcast um, I am an inspirational speaker spiritual guide love and relationships expert and the author of the best-selling book 50 ways to love your lover a book for sing singles and couples men and women um, enough said about that I help women create balance in love, life, and business because I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine. That's what informs my work and also what informed what started these talks almost three years ago called Messages for the Masculine Inspiring a Feminine Heart, which is why today we're at episode number 902. And the topic today, again, is really about how do you deal with a breakup? But the thing about it is because it's around the holidays, it's a little bit more challenging. And that's because if you're like most people, you're going to go see family at the holidays. And going to see family right after a breakup can be the most unpleasant time there is. So I want to talk about that a little bit. Now, breaking up, any, uh, breaking up at any time isn't pretty, especially if you're the one, actually, no, you know what? It doesn't matter if you're the one breaking up or the one being broken up with. Both sides can be painful if you have a heart. I'm going to leave out the conversation about people who don't have a heart or don't appear to have a heart because they're so well shielded. If they go through a breakup, they don't feel anything. That's not part of this context. But if you're a human being who has a heart that feels, just to pre-qualify you, this may be relevant to you. So the breakup experience isn't pleasant. I think I would say that probably everybody watching this has been through it, including myself, more than one time. And in fact, my experience has been educational, ultimately looking back in hindsight, not at the time though. So I know for some, quite a lot of us breakups in the past are like, okay, I learned the lesson, moved on. But if it's very fresh, it can be very painful, as you well know. But the thing is, there's different ways of dealing with it. And I'm going to start with what happens when you go on for Thanksgiving or Christmas, when that happens as well, because that's been on my mind as well, because Thanksgiving is coming up. And in fact, I just posted two replays from last year and the year before that were about the Thanksgiving experience and about holidays and about stuff like that. Plus, on top of that, I also just re re I'm just in the process of re-editing the marketing page for my new Thriving Through the Holidays course that starts on Friday. So I'll send you, the, I'll put the link in the comments after I finish posting that because I put a new video up and a bunch of other stuff to talk more about it. So it's basically, it's very much on my mind and it might be on yours too. So the first thing is, going through a breakup, as I said, is a painful experience, especially if you're the one broken up with, although if you're the breaking up, if you're the one breaking up, it can still be painful for you as well. If Especially if you, if you come to the end of the road where it's a mutual one, we both go, it's not working, we need to end. It can be very painful. And if you've been together for more than a year or so, or more than a year or two, and perhaps they went with you to your Thanksgiving feast with your family, and now you're broken up and going home alone, that just makes it 10 times worse. And it can feel like going home is just like dragging your feet and dragging yourself, feeling like you've got no energy, no desire, and, and your family is not necessarily the best people to handle your upset or hurt feelings or woundedness when you go home. So then you put your brave face on and you try and um, push your way through that experience. Maybe you resort to various things like um, Netflix and chocolate and ice cream and alcohol or other things too to numb it out to get through so you can get home again and deal with the upset afterwards. I'm going to offer you a couple of other solutions in a moment, by the way. So that's one part of it. The second part is, is that when you go through a breakup, it can put you in, in a emotional challenge, which means that trying to plan for going home on your, you know, to see family, which a lot of people are doing right now because Thanksgiving's just over a week from now, that a lot of people are going through these challenges of what to do about their holiday travel, tra travel plans, because if, if you had a breakup, like literally right before this was going to happen, you may have already had your tickets booked to go home and see family. It can be painful. So you've got double layers, multiple layers of this painful experience. And so I want to speak to that as an opportunity of healing that you can take advantage of. Now, just to be clear in my own work with coaching, I hate the term coach because a lot of my, a lot of my work is actually counseling more than coaching. 
it's kind of a blend of the two. So there isn't there isn't a a term yet that derives coaching, counseling, blended, but that's kind of what I do. So when I'm working with my clients, a lot of times I'm helping them heal their heartbreaks. This is very present for me and something I'm very aware of in my clients as well. So the biggest thing I want to say if you are going through that experience is don't numb it out. It can be tempting to say, well, you know, I'm not going to deal with it. I'm going to move forward. I'm going to take care of myself. And if you're in a place where you have no choice but to go see family and you cannot take time to be with yourself, then maybe putting it to one side for a period of time is a safe thing to do because it gives you a chance to um, postpone the dis postpone the upset, but don't numb it. Postponing the upset for a week or two once you're going to see family is fine. In fact, it may be necessary. However, the sooner that you can face, deal with, and resolve the emotional upset inside, the feelings, that wounding, that distress, the freer you will be. I mean, this is this this information, by the way, is independent of the time of year, but it's especially timely when it's this time of year. So, going through a breakup, as I said, is not a pretty experience. It's not fun. It's painful. It's it's not pleasant. So, what do you do with it? Rather than numbing it, as I mentioned, not to do that, is to be present to it. And present in the sense that you get to love yourself. The biggest thing that we do when we, and with family stuff, the, the back to the Thanksgiving thing, is we tend to start either judging ourselves or let other people judge us. Now, ideally, you're going to be owned to a family that understands and accepts you and just loves you and they, they appreciate you. But some families don't do that so well. So when you're in a place where you're actually loving yourself because you've gone through the journey of healing the wound inside, then you become whole again. And actually, in fact, you become more... Um, free to be more loving than everybody else as well. It's interesting because the, idea, the thought would be, would be that if you go back to your family at uh, Thanksgiving after you had a bad breakup, that's the safest place to be. But it's amazing to me how many families don't have that experience. We're going to family actually where all the triggers happen, all the upsets, all that past, like um, buttons get pushed from your past history. And that isn't fun. That's, that's one reason I created my course. And again, I'll put the link in later on. I've got to finish it. Well, I'll put the link in when I sign up, but I'm still editing the page to make it complete. So don't check it out until about for a couple of hours yet. I'm still finishing it off. Anyway, I guess that in a bit later. So here's some, some tips for you. Here's the biggest tip. Self-care first. If you realize that you're best choice is not to go home for Thanksgiving but to spend time with yourself and that's from a clean place not from a place of just going to curl up in a ball and hide but from a place of realizing you want to resolve this and heal it once and for all maybe you don't want to do that trip you planned for Thanksgiving especially if you're going to go see their family that's a whole other conversation so taking the time to be with yourself and to let yourself be um, softer is a choice I recommend if you're going to go see family next week, and it is only a week away, so this is kind of a timely thing in a certain sense, get support. It's it's tempting just to shut down, close up, and just turn in, turn, and close up and, and um, well, I was going to say hibernate, it's not the right word, but, but um, that thing, <laughs> that thing. Pull yourself totally inside, something like that. I don't know what the word is for that, it just slipped out of my head. But, but, Rather, it's tempting to do that just to simply take to stop the pain from hurting. By by really pulling yourself in tight, you can almost tense up so you don't feel the pain, and so you go through Thanksgiving like that, or locked in and held up and not able to move because you're stuck in the place of um, tension, so you don't feel anything. Again, not recommended. The sooner you can soften, the sooner you can open up, the sooner you can allow the pain to vent to release out, with support or on your own, even the sooner you can get back to wholeness again. Simply put, the sooner you heal, the sooner you love, the sooner you resolve, the sooner you come back to yourself, the easier it's going to be to enjoy the holidays and the easier it's going to come back to yourself. It's that simple. Not always easy. Definitely I recommend getting some help for that. But it's definitely something you can do if you take the steps to do it. This time of year is a very challenging time of year because, well... Um, Let's just say I screwed, one, I screwed one relationship really badly around Christmas time, so I have a memory of that that's not pretty. So I know what it's like to be in a bad situation around the holidays with, with um, breakups. So that's why maybe, maybe it resonates more for me now because of that. 
experience. That was many, many years ago now. But I do understand for people when they go through breakups because the holidays can bring up all people's stuff. So breakups can happen. That's why I'm saying this This is a good time. This is, this is a time where it happens. So therefore, get support, get help, get counseling and comfort so you can feel whole again. There isn't much more to say about it, really. I mean, this is basically it. So I will, as I mentioned in the, earlier on, I will put some comments. I'll put the link in the comments for the Thriving Through the Holidays course that I'm dropping at the end of this week, which is a delivering, starts at the end of this week, dropping. And so, yeah. Um, and also a link to reach out to me for a conversation. If you're going through that separation ending experience and you feel challenged, reach out for a conversation with me. It's complimentary. It's my gift to you. And if it works out you want to get more support than that, we can offer a way of working together. So those two links are in the comments. And as a, re as a reminder, because it's the time of year, um, well, any time of year is worthwhile for this, is loving yourself. Self-love is one of those amazing oil, um, healing ointments you can apply to yourself to get back to your heart again. So I'll put the link in the comments for that. Um, if you sign up for the Thriving Through the Holidays course, which I'll put the link in the comments that I mentioned, you get the self-love meditation as part of it as a gift. So that's a bonus for you. In fact, my interview was today for the self-love symposium. So a lot of people are going to be checking that out, I think. So if you want to get into that, I would I would advise not waiting. So again, throwing through the holidays, a chance to reach out to a conversation with me and the self-love meditation will be in the comments. Um, if you have any questions about this, you can reach out to me on social media or type in below. And to remind you to take care of yourself, I'll give you in a moment because it's always a good reminder. But before I get to that, let me just remind you where you can find the replays if you haven't seen my broadcast before. So this is my daily broadcast. Um, it appears on my personal page on Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. Five o'clock p.m. every day at five, every day Pacific time on my personal page right here on Facebook. The replays go to my business page on Facebook and also to my YouTube channel. The Facebook business page is Barry Selby to author. You can like my page, broadcast shop there, but not every one of them shows up for some reason. That's that's Facebook's thing. But if you go to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby, please subscribe to my channel. There's a playlist on there called Messages for the Masculine where every single one of my broadcasts do live. So, <laughs> hey Gary, good to see you. Yes, you're late. It's about getting out buying gifts. Um, maybe it's a side effect. But not getting out of it, just a matter of not doing it if you're in a, well, how do I answer that? <laughs> Knowing your sense of humor, I'll leave it alone. But basically, um, it's what what you do when you go through a breakup right before the holidays. Getting out of buying gifts is one option. Um, if you're breaking up with somebody just to get out of buying gifts, you may want to reconsider your dating experience and dating choices. I'm not going to go over in this talk, but you know what I'm talking about, Gary. Um, <laughs> thank you for that chuckle. Um, again, YouTube channel is the replays, um, Messages from the Mask is the playlist. You can sort through those. They're all from the newest to oldest. You can check in one you want. You can look for the keywords and everything else. If you have any questions, thoughts about this, please put them below. Thank you, Kara, for adding your questions. Um, if you want to get support in love and relationships, especially this time of year, reach out to me and I'll let you know how I can help you. And again, the three links will be in the comments when I sign off. Once again, and always as a reminder, especially this time of year, please take care of yourself. I'll see you again soon.